one day, you're fine. Right. And 24 hours later, they're telling a kid, nine-year-old kid, you need a new heart. Right. I was just crying because I wasn't, the words, no, no sports, was, was, was the biggest thing, you know. Compton was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, a disease that causes the heart to enlarge and ultimately to break down. He was put on a donor list and eventually given a heart transplant. In a very short period of time, Compton's medication transformed his appearance so dramatically that he looked completely different, almost freakish. When you see pictures of yourself back then, what in the world goes through your mind? When I saw my body, what had it done, it was, it was tough because I wasn't fitting in at school. Um, Kids make fun of you? Yeah, but it was mostly when I went out in public. And that's when I basically buried myself into golf. It started to define me as a person. When I went to high school, I was Eric, the guy with the transplant, but also the guy that was playing golf. And it wasn't just the guy who had the transplant that looked funny. The funny looking guy is also a golfer. <laughs> right. <laughs> in fact, he became the best junior player in the country, then an All-American at the University of Georgia, all with someone else's heart. But one huge problem was looming. The average transplanted heart lasts about 12 years. Compton's transplant was already approaching 16 years. But you knew that a transplanted heart only has a final I didn't know that. I did not listen to the statistics. Was that denial? Call it arrogance, call it what you want, but maybe that's why I have been successful. But on October 3rd, 2007, Compton's second heart did finally give out. It happened on the golf course, where he felt the beginning of what turned out to be a massive heart attack. 